We now continue to another classic. This one started out as a record. You remember those, don't you? Those black flack things that used to have little holes in the middle and went round and round on turntables? Turntables? What's a turntable? Capitol Records put out a series of sketches by Stan Freeberg that were biting satires, lampooning American life, including our historical events such as Paul Revere's ride and contemporary idols like Lawrence Welk in a skit known as Wonderful, Wonderful with Freeberg building up comedic drama by drowning in a sea of foam and yelling, turn off the bubble uh, machine. Uh, another highlight was a skit attacking censorship in which the singer was so crippled by a citizens committee objecting to the phrasing of lyrics in Jerome Kern's play Showboat, he ended up singing Elderly Man River. <laughs> kind of brings out that PC is not a new concept, doesn't it? The Stan Freeberg show was short-lived, lasted just a few months in 1957, but here is one of his best, the takeoff of Dum de Dum Dum, St. George and the Dragon. The legend you are about to hear is true. Only the needle should be changed to protect the record. This is the countryside. My name is St. George. I'm a knight. Saturday, July 10th, 8.05 p.m. I was working out at the castle on the night watch when a call came in from the chief. A dragon had been devouring maidens. Homicide. My job? Slay him. You call me, Chief? Yeah, the dragon again, devouring maidens. The king's daughter may be next. Hmm. You got a lead? Yeah, nothing much to go on. Say, did you take that 45 automatic into the lab and have them check on it? Yeah, you were right. I was right? Yeah, it was a gun. Eight twenty-two p.m. I talked to one of the maidens who had almost been devoured. Could I talk to you, ma'am? Who are you? I'm St. George, ma'am. Hamicide, man. I want to ask you a few questions, ma'am. I understand you were almost devoured by the dragon. Is that right, ma'am? It was terrible. He breathed fire on me. He burned me already. How can I be sure of that, ma'am? Believe me, I got it straight from the dragon's mouth. Eleven forty-five p.m. I rode over to the King's Highway. I saw a man. I stopped to talk to him. Pardon me, sir. Could I talk to you for just a moment, sir? Sure, I don't mind. What do you do for a living? I'm a knave. Didn't they pick you up on a 903 last year for stealing tarts? Yeah, so what do you want to make a federal case out of it? No, sir. We heard there was a dragon operating in this neighborhood. We just wanted to know if you'd seen him. Sure, I seen him. Uh-huh. Could you describe him for me? What's to describe? You seen one dragon, you seen them all. Would you try to remember, sir, just for the record? We just want to get the facts, sir. Well, he was, you know, uh, he had orange polka dots. Yes, sir. Purple feet, breathing fire and smoke. Uh-huh. And one big bloodshot eye right in the middle of his forehead and, uh, like that. Notice anything unusual about him? No, he's just the run-of-the-mill dragon, you know? Uh-huh. Yes, sir, you can go now. Hey, hey! By the way, how you gonna catch him? I thought you'd never ask. A dragon net. <laughs> 3 5 a.m. I was riding back into the courtroom to make my report to the lab. Then it happened. <laughs> it was the dragon. Hey, I'm the fire-breathing dragon. You must be St. George, right? Yes, sir. I see you got one of them new 45 caliber swords. That's about the size of it. <laughs> oh, you slay me. Uh, that's what I came here to talk to you about. What do you mean? I'm taking you in on a 502. You figure it out. 
What's the charge? Devouring maidens out of season. Out of season? You'll never pin that rap on me. You hear me, cop? Yeah, I hear you. I got you on a 412, too. A 412? What's a 412? Overacting. Let's go. On September the 5th, the dragon was tried and convicted. His fire was put out and his maiden devouring license revoked. Maiden devouring out of season is punishable by a term of not less than 50 or more than 300 years. So much for Jack Webb and his Dragnet series, right? Tonight's spoof was revised just a little. In it, St. George was our own Jack Webb, I mean, uh, Dave Sanchi. The chief was played by Herb Thompson. And the almost devoured maiden was Sue Kaczynski. Witness to the potential tragedy was the knave, Jay Summerfield. And now, serving time on a 412, is the very loud and very present dragon, Tom Duggan. Uh, it's a wonder our microphones are still working. I guess we could always have our sound effects man bring in more of them, right, Marty? McNulty. <laughs> The multi-talented man who's also played the organ this time. As a narrator bringing you this most unusual spectacle, the name is John Gelsomino. <laughs> and now, 